The ruby slippers were worn by Judy Garland in the MGM film Wizard of Oz and are one of the most asked about artifacts at the Smithsonian. Donated anonymously in 1979, you'll find them on display in the National Museum of American History in an exhibition called Icons of American Culture. The oxygen system aboard the C-5 represents both a fire accelerant hazard and a frostbite danger from liquid oxygen components. This topic identifies the location and the manual shutdown procedures of key oxygen system components. The story of Hatshepsut is a remarkable one. She led armies and trade expeditions, built one of the greatest monuments in Egypt, and switched her appearance from female to male in order to rule as pharaoh. In a fundamentally patriarchal society, she ruled for nearly 20 years. Castellanos and colleagues report a series of 11 consecutive cases of infected pancreatic necrosis, drained via the posterior extraperitoneal approach. Here in the glorious foothills of southern New Hampshire, discover the perfect setting for any occasion. Pat's Peak. Located just 90 minutes from Boston in beautiful Henniker, New Hampshire, Pat's Peak offers year-round banquet facilities with all the comforts and affordability that you're looking for. Athena and Company creates exceptional jewelry that perfectly expresses the way you feel. When I got there, I rode the roller coaster and watched fireworks, and this man handed me a bag of money, and oh, 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 they gave me the caravan for free. We packed so much delectable chocolate taste inside. There was only room for half the fat. Sorry, fat. No tears, though, for the snack. Kellogg's Crave Bar. You'll understand. Contact Loved Ones is a free telephone service helping hurricane survivors find their families. You're easily able to leave messages for loved ones or get messages from them just by entering their old phone number. I got a pedicure, diamond earrings, two tickets to the Super Bowl. I even got to ride a pony. They also taught me how to eat a taco through my navel. Phew, did we go through the napkins? <laughs> Mary McKittrick. So one cannot complain that the world does not take any notice of the Polish composer. Finish your wine cellar with the confidence of knowing you have the best protection, ensuring the highest quality to give you healthy, radiant skin and hair. Trust me, it's hassle-free. They did 80% of the work. And I got 80% of the cash. Sentinel cypress trees, soft amber and yellow hued country villas and farmhouses. So, I don't know what you want to do. If I can help you out, I try to do that. You can let me know. Won't you sit down, my dear? Well, of course I will. That's my problem. I am sitting down. I just can't get up. Why don't you come over here and set my ass free? How long you want me to sit here? Estoy sentada dos horas al día. You think I don't have work to do? I don't think so. I'll just sit down here right next to you, shall I? Just like a spider. The prospect of sitting is very appealing. But if I sit, I'd like to have a book in front of me. And the truth is, I've already read everything. This is not my throne. Oh, everyone's going to get along just fine. Don't you worry. We just need to rearrange the furniture a little bit and move the sofa over by the fireplace and I want to make sure everyone can reach the jello. The sofa is phenomenal. I also need a matching love seat and recliner and it needs to be lava. Oh, I guess we're out of time for today. We're doomed. Mary McKittrick. An accurate, detailed reference work on the anatomy of domestic fowl and laboratory birds has long been needed. Descriptive anatomy has always been recognized as an indispensable foundation for subsequent studies on function, both normal and abnormal. A project on basic anatomical studies began in 1944 at the Regional Poultry Research Laboratory in East Lansing, Michigan. At that time, the need was keenly felt for information on normal anatomy so that pathologists working on leukosis in poultry could more accurately analyze their findings. Oh, I guess we're out of time for today.